Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to look into knowledge check on all the things what we have learned so far in the AZ304 certification course. I have divided this knowledge check videos into two or three different parts. So you don't have to spend much time on each videos. So let's go through that without wasting any more time. So let us look at the first question. You are designing a container solution in Azure that will include two containers. One container will host a web API that will be available to the public. The other container will perform health monitoring of the web API and will remain private. The two containers will be deployed together as a group. You need to recommend a compute service for containers. The solution must minimize cost and maintenance overhead. What should you include in your recommendation? The correct answer is Azure Container Instances. Azure Container Instances or ACI supports individual containers and multi-container groups as well as sidecars and health monitoring. Let's look at the question number two. You are designing a solution for a company to deploy software for testing and production. The solution must meet the following requirements. Applications must be deployed to several different environments and must run without installation dependencies. Existing published applications must be ported to the new solution. And application developers must be given flexibility when designing the architecture for their code. What should you include in your solution for hosting applications? The correct answer is. Azure Kubernetes Service. Azure Kubernetes Service or AKS provides a managed container service that gives architectural flexibility to the development team. Question number three. You are recommending solution for an organization that wants to run an image rendering application in Azure. What is the best service to use to run the workload? The correct answer is Azure Batch Service. Azure Batch Service uses a pool of compute resources, which is VM scale set, to carry out batch processes in parallel. Azure Batch Service is intended for running parallel processes. Question number four. You are designing a solution for an on-premises network to deploy a virtual appliance. The plan is to deploy several Azure virtual machines and connect the on-premises network to Azure by using a site-to-site -site connection. All network traffic that will be directed from the Azure virtual machines to a specific subnet must flow through the virtual appliance. You need to recommend a solution to manage network traffic. What is the solution? The correct answer is implement an Azure virtual network. Azure virtual network manages user-defined routes or it is known as UDRs. Also, another possible solution is to configure an Azure routing table to use Azure forced tunneling. Question number five, you are designing a solution for on-premises network and Azure virtual networks. You need to secure a private connection between on-premises network and Azure virtual networks. The connection must offer a redundant pair of cross connection to provide high availability. What should you recommend? The correct answer is Express Route. Express Route allows connections between on-premises network and Azure virtual networks. Question number six. You use a virtual network to extend an on-premises IT environment into the cloud. The virtual network has two virtual machines that store sensitive data. The data must only be available using internal communication channels. Internet access to those VMs is not permitted. You need to ensure that the VMs cannot access the internet. What should you recommend? The correct answer is Network Security Groups or NSG. For communication between virtual machines, network security groups are a critical piece to restrict unnecessary communication. Network security groups operate at layer 3 and layer 4 and provide a list of allowed and denied communication to and from network interfaces and subnets. 
Network security groups are fully customizable and give you the ability to fully lock down network communication to and from your virtual machines. By using NSGs, you can isolate applications between environments, tiers, and services. Let us look into question number seven. A company that you are consulting for has 400 virtual machines hosted in a VMware environment. The virtual machines vary in size and have various utilization levels. The plan is to move all the virtual machines in Azure. You need to recommend how many and what size Azure virtual machines will be required to move the current workloads to Azure. The solution must minimize administrative effort. And what should you recommend? The correct answer is Azure Migrate. Azure Migrate gathers performance monitor data to size a VM as well as pricing details. Question number eight. You are advising an organization that has an on-premises Hyper-V cluster that hosts 30 virtual machines. Some virtual machines run Windows Server 2019 and some are running Linux. The organization wants to migrate the virtual machine to an Azure subscription. You need to recommend a solution to replicate the disk of the virtual machine to Azure. The solution must ensure that the virtual machines remain available during the migration of the disk. You recommend implementing an Azure storage account and then using Azure Migrate. Does this meet the goal? The answer is yes. Azure Migrate is the recommended solution for migrating disk to Azure, which can then be used in Azure as virtual machines. Question number nine. A company you advise wants to deploy Azure AD Connect to synchronize identity information from their on-premises ADDS directory to an Azure AD tenant. The synchronized identity information includes group membership, user accounts, and credential hashes, which is password sync. The company plans to deploy VMs, which include both Linux and Windows machines. The requirements for the VMs include must allow users to sign into the domain with their credentials from their organization and connect remotely to VMs using remote desktop. Must support group policy, Kerberos, and NTLM authorization, LDAP read, and bind and domain join. What service should you recommend? The correct answer is Azure AD Domain Services. Azure AD Domain Services supports LDAP, NTLM, and group policies that fulfills the requirement. Let's look at question number 10. You advise an organization that has an existing hybrid deployment of Azure AD. They have asked you to recommend a solution that makes certain that Azure AD tenant can only be managed from the computers that are within the on-premises network. What should you recommend? The correct answer is a conditional access policy. You need to use a conditional access policy because when you use conditional access policy, you can add the on-premises IP to the trusted IP section in a conditional access policy and set the Azure Management Cloud app. Question number 11. You are advising an organization that is exploring the possibility of using an Azure AD hybrid identity as a solution. They have asked you to recommend a solution that ensures their users can authenticate even if the internet connection is not available. They require the proposed solution should keep the authentication prompts to a minimum for users on the system. What would you include in the solution? Correct answer is password hash synchronization and Azure AD seamless single sign-on. The password hash synchronization agents transmits the hashed password with the Azure AD Connect to Azure AD over SSL every two minutes. It functions as if there is no internet connection. The hashed passwords are local in Active Directory and in Azure Active Directory. When users synchronize a password, it overrides the existing cloud password and users can sign in locally and to cloud services with the same credentials. Question number 12. You are recommending a design for a SaaS app that will allow Azure AD users to create and publish reviews online. 
there will be a front end web app and a back end web api the web app will be dependent on web api to handle updates to the customer reviews you need to recommend a design for authorization flows for the saas app that meets the following access to back end web api the web app must authenticate using oauth2 barrier tokens the web app must authenticate using identities of the individual users if tokens are generated by azure ad which part of the solution performs the authorization the correct answer is the web api azure ad is used here as the identity provider that generates the access tokens and authorization is managed by the web api question number 13 an organization you are consulting with has an existing azure ad tenant they plan to deploy multiple azure cosmos db databases will use this sql api you are asked to recommend a solution that provides azure ad user accounts with read access to the cosmos db databases what do you recommend the correct answer is a resource token and azure control role assignment You can use a resource token when you want to provide access to resources in your Cosmos DB account to a client that cannot be trusted with the master key. To add Azure Cosmos DB account reader access to your user account, use Access Control IAM option in the Azure portal. Question number fourteen: An organization has asked you to make a recommendation on whether to use Azure Active Directory domain services. which is azure adds they have an existing azure ad tenant and they want to provide access to shared files with azure storage the users will be provided different levels of access to the azure file shares based on their user account or group membership they ask that you recommend which azure services to use what do you recommend the correct answer is an azure ad domain service instance Azure file support identity based authentication over server message block which is smb through azure active directory domain services without azure ad domain services it is not possible to provide different levels of access to azure files based on user identity or their group membership that concludes the first part of the knowledge check in the next video we're going to go through the part 2 of knowledge check I will see you on the next one until then take care